Hi everyone, I'm Christy from Christy Customs and we're back with another Angels tutorial. Today we're going to be featuring pastel colors on these Nike blazers. Spring's here and with that florals, today we're going to be incorporating pastel roses onto this shoe. So the first step that I'm going to be doing is outlining. So now that we have the stencil done, we're gonna go ahead and start painting. So in order to paint, because this is canvas, we're gonna go ahead and mix half of Too Soft with half the proportions for the color. I'm gonna be mainly working first on the branches, so I'm gonna be incorporating different colors of browns. I'm gonna first start off with Rich Brown, and I'm gonna mix that with Too Soft. So after applying Rich Brown for the branches, I'm gonna go ahead and apply uh, Play in the Sand to Rich Brown. Mix that two up so I can do a lighter brown for the birds. You always wanna do light first before you go into it with the dark. It's always better to darken something than it is to lighten something. It's a lot easier and it's less paint. So next, we're gonna go on to move on to the pastels. The first pastel that I wanna work on is Pale Yellow. So I'm just gonna mix this with two salts and apply it to the roses that I want to be pale yellow colored. So now that I've laid on the basic colors for the flowers and the branches and the birds, I'm gonna go on ahead and go to the next step. And for me, it is to do the details and um, a more in-depth outline using darker shades. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the birds and the leaves and then move on to the roses. The first few layers of paint should be mixed with Too Soft and then I go in with just regular paint on top of that. For other artists, you can mix and match. You can do Too Soft for everything or you can just do the paint for everything. But in my personal opinion, Too Soft first for the basic colors and then go in with details with solid paint. And for me personally, that's the best results I've ever gotten. So now I'm gonna focus on the roses. And for this, I like to do a three color combo. It is the solid color for the deepest shadows. The second color being a little bit in between light and dark, and the lightest color, I typically like to stay as close to white as possible so that it highlights more. Every rose starts with a bud, so I personally like to start with the center of the rose. Typically, it's spiral. You just have to do kind of like a very short U shape and then go off on that. But don't forget to add the details, like this one's overlapping this one, therefore underneath that has to be a darker color, that sort of thing. So I mixed lilac, light blue, and white together to create this kind of like a periwinkle blue. And if I wanted it a little bit more lighter, I would have added more white. If I wanted it a little more darker, I would have added more lilac. But right now I think I've got the perfect mixture to go ahead and get started. So the next step I'll be doing will be the Nike swoosh. I think I'm gonna go with a powder blue sky. So I'm pouring out a little bit of Too Soft, mixing that with white, and then adding a little bit of light blue so I can get that very pretty sky blue color. So after coloring the swoosh a nice sky blue, I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple fluffy clouds. I'm gonna have them a little bit of a tint. Um, I'm gonna use Georgia peach, vanilla, white to kind of give it a sunset spring vibe.
All right, these spring themed shoes are all done. I personally love the blue swoosh with the pink fluffy clouds. Comment down below what's your favorite. I'm Christy. You can find me at Christy Customs on Instagram. Like this video, comment down below, and make sure to share it with all your friends, and I will see you on the next one.